Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my new Python 3D text speller. But before I do I wanted to show you this base content that you're going to need. It's this 3D font set and it is created by Lord Ashes. Uh, it's not mine but I've been using it for about a year or two and I really like it. But just by using it I want to be clear it means manually adding each prop on the set. And then this last I don't know three or four days I've been working on this little Python script and I'll go ahead and show it to you I'm trying to get it in the marketplace in the next day or two I think it's pretty cool but you can tell me what you think so I'm gonna go back over to iClone and I'll just say this may change how you load it so I'm working on the instructions part to get it in the plugin menu but I've seen that but I haven't done it yet so for now just it'll end up looking like this one way or the other and I'm just gonna say iClone 3D text is cool or something like that and notice browse for material this is checked by default so when you click spell it's gonna prompt you for to browse for an image file and I'll just select something I'll select uh, oh this will work right here just to get I should have moved this out of our way you can kind of see it but I'll zoom in here in just a second okay let me zoom in so you can see it a little better I think that's kind of neat though that you can uh, just spell the text out now I'll go ahead and show you another one really quickly we'll go ahead and just say new project to get that out of our way and let's say you're doing a movie title or something of your for your video you just want to say the matrix and I'll just do another one it's basically the same thing but we'll go back to the textures folder I've got and that's the one downside is that you kind of I, I don't know how to set a particular folder you know if you wanted to I'll use uh, these bricks here see what it looks like it's kind of a big image but it's okay just to give this a second it's definitely not the fastest I probably should have used a, a smaller image would definitely do this faster and I'm working on two known issues or at least a few the M and the W are slightly wider. I already do a little bit of offsetting because the I, I have a like a word width or a character width, but the I is about half. So I'm already doing a little bit of, I keep track of how many I's there are. And so they, but the M is a little bit uh, too wider than the rest of them. It's not a hard fix, but that's the one known bug. And the W is a little bit more extreme than that, but not much more. And then the other known issue, I'll just type in the date. Let me just show you that. The comma and the period at the moment have an issue. And I'm going to probably fix this before you see it. But I'll just type in today's date so you can see it. And I'll put in a period also just to, so we get the two that I know of. And for this, it doesn't really matter what texture I pick. I'll just go in here and pick some, uh, oh, okay, that will be, well, I don't know what it's going to look like, but. Okay, see the comma is way too big, but it's a real easy fix in case for some crazy reason I don't fix it, but I plan on it. But if you go to the Modify tab and just change this to 100, oops, make sure I type it right. And for the comma, I would probably move it down a little and something like that, but anyway. And the period is the same thing. It's also a little bit bigger, bigger than the comma even was. And for that, I'll probably just move it over a little bit. But that was the known issues, just so I'm trying to, and those are issues, those two last two issues are issue with the uh, font set, not really a, you know, an issue. The first two are because my program doesn't space it right, but at the moment, the comma and the period are the way the font set comes, so it gets the same issue if you just used iClone and created it. But it's not a, I don't think that's a, you know, a deal killer for anybody, hopefully. And then now I'll just go ahead and show you the last thing we're going to do is create my video cover. So I'll just say new project and get this out of our way. And for this, I'll just say, we'll call this a 3D text speller for iClone. And I don't have any way to... Uh, center the text with enough effort I'm sure I could do it but I'm not going to do that you can center your own text if you need to I'll show you how easy it is to do it but it's easier for you to do it in iClone than you know if I ever had a big demand for it I'm sure it could be done but it would be one of those things that where's the one I just got blue there it is I'm gonna use this one I just got this stock photo so I wanted to use for this so just gives us a little 
Oh, I know what I did. The reason that did that, I typed it on two lines in the... Okay, that was user error, but I need to handle the new line characters, so that was my... That is a bug. It's a... I just need to... I already ignore spaces, but I need to ignore, like, new line characters or carriage returns and things like that. But to move the rest of those over, the nice thing is it adds them in alphabetical... Not alphabetical order, in chronological order. So we can just take all these and uh, just drag them over here, something like that. And that way... And I'll just go ahead and render this because I want this to be my video cover. I might want it to be a little... Because I sent my mom a picture and she's like, I can't... I, she could only tell one of the letters was 3D. So I had to kind of show her a special sideways view. So I'll make it just a little... Kind of work on the spacing. But okay. So I'll just... Uh, 3D text speller for iClone. We'll render this. And if you want to stick around for the rest of this, it won't be too exciting. I'm just going to go to paint.net and we'll try for the full size, but Google may not let me upload a... You can upload an 8 gig video, but not a 3 meg file. It's kind of dumb, but we'll just call this cover, which I already have, but we're going to create it again. I didn't like my first one. Okay. Now what I want to do here, here... Now it's got a shadow. I probably should have gotten rid of the shadow, but I didn't bother. Okay. Now what I want to do is First, I'm going to crop to selection. Okay, now we're going to resize this, which will probably mess things up. But we'll just go to 1920 by 1080. And I'll do just a little bit of... It's already pretty big, but... Go to that. And this is paint.net, if you're not familiar. It's a, my free graphics program of choice. Even though I own a graphics program, I still use this one every day. Okay, and we'll just come up here a little. Actually, I'm going to put this on its own layer. I don't know why, but it just doesn't hurt to have it. Okay, and now what I want to do is I'm going to add one more layer. And this is going to be for the background. So I'm going to just open up an image from my graphics folder. I, I'm going to just try that and see what it looks like. I don't think this is what I want, but keep canvas size and move down. Oh, I've got to move it down one more time. Sorry, I've got two layers now. Yeah, I don't like that. So I was going to use a different uh, background. So we'll get rid of this. We'll get we'll get another one. Sorry about that. That was something. I, that was a spur of the moment deciding not to go all the way to my graphics folder, like I had planned. But we'll go ahead and and let's see. We'll use. Oh, where's my black? There it is. We'll use that. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you think this is worth two bucks. Would you pay two dollars? Assuming you already owned this, so technically it would cost you four if you didn't have this. But if you had this already, would you pay two dollars for a 3D font speller that you can use any material? And let me know any other thing you would like to add to it. I'm thinking of making a scale, but that's pretty easy to do in iClone, so I haven't done it yet. Let me know your thoughts.